Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is a funny topic because it sounds incredibly complex but actually what you need to know is really 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 basic. There's barely anything that you need to know about it at all. Let me run you through it. The word fusion means joining. And the process is actually fairly straightforward. It's just a couple of small atoms, such as hydrogen atoms, which join together to make a slightly bigger atom. That's all that fusion is. Now that sounds quite simple, but actually these atoms don't particularly want to join onto each other. And so you've got to get them pretty hot before they do that. First you've got to heat these atoms up so much that their electrons escape. And you're just left with the atomic nuclei. Just those positively charged atomic cores. These two positive charges will tend to repel each other, so you've got to get them even hotter. Eventually they get hot enough and they get enough kinetic energy that they can smack into each other. And when they do that, they will stick to each other and they will release energy. And that's what releases energy in the process of fusion. To get that C, that's all that you need to know about the process of fusion that it's tiny atoms, usually things like hydrogen, that stick together to give bigger atoms. In fact, all atoms bigger than hydrogen are made by this process, but don't worry about that. This is what powers stars. It gives out a huge amount of energy, and so all that light and heat that we get from the sun, and all the light that you see coming from every star in the sky, is being produced during a fusion reaction, similar to the one that I just showed you. Don't worry about the details beyond the little atoms sticking together to give the big ones and releasing huge amounts of energy. You don't need to worry about anything other than those details, but you do need, and expect this to come up, you do need to know that this is the process that powers stars. Make sure you get the spelling right and that you put fusion. If on the exam paper they ask you what's the name of the process which releases energy in a star. That's all that you need to know. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and if this video was useful to you, please use the buttons below to like, subscribe, or share it with anyone else you think could also use a little help. Thanks for watching.